Hey everyone, welcome back to MLWorks. In this video, we'll be discussing about MLflow and we'll talk about some of the key functionalities provided by MLflow and we'll perform something called as experiment tracking for your model using MLflow. So experiment tracking is quite important considering you have like multiple models and various parameters for each model and you try to tune those parameters and want to understand the performance each of those models on your data set. So it becomes very important you keep track of all the experiments and uh, what is the performance of each model uh, with the corresponding parameters such that you can select the best model and uh, uh, put it into production. Okay. So with that, I'll get started with the key functionalities of MLflow. So there are three main functionalities. First is runs and then models and then experiments. Runs is nothing but any code that you run, ML code that you run in your uh, platform or whatever. Okay, that gets converted as a run by MLflow. Okay, which contains all the metadata information, including parameters, metrics, the time taken for the experiment to run. Okay, and it also involves artifacts like the model and the output of your uh, output of your predicted model. Okay, so all those uh, become part of your uh, artifact and that also becomes part of your run. Okay, and when it comes to models, you can directly log the models. There are certain parameters that are assigned with, to the models. You can keep track of that under models. And then comes the experiments. So when you have multiple models that you want to run and multiple hyperparameters that you want to tune, all can be grouped together, turned to into an experiment. Okay, so experiment is nothing but a group of runs. So MLflow provides a multiple way of interacting with it. One is UI and then there is something like CLI tool that you can use or you can directly call the APIs for the MLflow to create an experiment, uh, run a flow or uh, keep track of all the artifacts. So all those can be done with the API as well. Okay, so now I'll jump on to the key uh, functions that you'll be using for experiment tracking. Okay, the first is start run, mlflow.startrun, which will start and keep track of all the machine learning code that you run. It will keep track whatever is assigned or put into under this specific context manager, which is start run. It will get uh, keep track of all your code there. And log params is nothing but for that experiment or that specific run, you will have the parameters and it will be uh, logged as log param. And then using log metric, you will be uh, capturing the metrics of your model and then you will be uh, keeping track of it once the run is done. And then if you don't want to do like log metric or log met, uh, param, then you can do auto log. It will automatically log everything, parameters, uh, metrics, artifacts, everything that would be using auto log. So here you can, as it is mentioned, you can log either local as files. Okay. So when we say logging, okay, there are like multiple ways you can be logging it uh, in your system. Either it could be in a local store or it could be like some remote machine or it could be also into some cloud infrastructure like S3 bucket or even in databases. Okay, there are multiple ways of logging all the uh, metrics, parameters, artifacts. And the interesting thing about MLflow with the recent releases, it has provided uh, much more important functionalities to it. For example, it provides search logged models. Okay, and based on the performance metric, parameters, model attributes, you can search your experiment. And uh, for instance, if there are like multiple models you have executed, some of the models have provided some better performance, you can use certain threshold value to what uh, fetch those experiment has some kind of a query that you can pass the MLflow UI. And there are enhanced tracking capabilities and consider here, right? Allows logging of multiple checkpoints with single run and track their performance. So consider you have a deep learning model that you are running and you want to do multiple checkpoints that you do while running the model. Okay, you can keep track of those uh, checkpoints, what's the performance on validation data set and uh, see which model, uh, where you have to stop the experiment or something, right? That can also be done here. And it's usually helpful in deep learning models for checkpointing as mentioned and linking metrics to models. Yeah, so when we say 
what uh, the model is performing well okay there are like for a specific data set it is performing well or specific parameters it is performing well okay you can keep track of those as well and here as i mentioned you can search and rank the checkpoints based on the performance metric and earlier version of ml flow we have to give something called as run ids followed by your model ids okay now what you can do is directly you can give the model URI uh, URI format and you can get your experiment and for tracking the data set you can use log input for tracking the data set okay so there are three common setup for ml flow one is locally you can do it or you can use data store either it can be dbs for metadata or some kind of s3 bucket you can store it in all the artifacts or even metadata information so that is that is like what uh, local host with local file and local host with various data sources and remote tracking with remote tracking server which is the cloud storage or databases again so this is just basic of uh, what is ml flow is capable of doing uh, what we'll do now is we'll start off with uh, how to kick start ml flow server uh, let me increase this ml flow server yeah this will uh, start the ml flow okay and let me go to the experiment that will be uh, performing in this task in this video so yeah if you see here uh, once the ml flow server is started it starts a g unicorn web server in the back end and the, it is running at port 5000 and there are like multiple workers in the back end that is running okay so i guess if you are trying to run multiple uh, experiments then this will be what making use of these multiple workers now first thing what we'll do is we'll understand what is experiment tracking experiment tracking is nothing but when you try to run a model you want to capture uh, everything all the details of that particular run for instance you want to track the model you want to track the parameter that you are using for that model and also you want to keep track of the performance metric that comes generated uh, while the tracking is happening or while the uh, experiment is running okay so you can do all those with the experiment tracking so first uh, let's get started with understanding of this code first you have to import ml flow which is the most basic and then you want to set tracking uri now since i'm doing it locally you can avoid this step but if you are running it uh, in remote machine then you have to provide the specific url okay the ip address followed by the port number and you should ensure that there is an access to that machine okay so the experiment name is ml flow quick start and uh, then we import some important modules from ml flow so first thing is info signature which means the ml flow model when it is registered we also want to register the kind of input that the model will take in so it has to infer those signatures for input what will be the kind of input the model is expecting and what are the kind of uh, output that it will generate so we'll do that we'll pass that information with the help of info signature and this is where we just uh, initialize our packages for ml flow or machine learning model okay so we use pandas for data uh, loading the data and then load uh, the iris data set is loaded here and then we train and test split our data set and then we import our uh, model which is logistic regression and we include certain metrics in this case it is accuracy score you can take in any of those uh, metrics okay so once we have imported all these uh, packages what we'll do is we'll just first turn our data set into x and y which is features and label and then turn it into x test and y test x train and y train okay so till here it's related to how you normally try to run a machine learning model okay and next what we do is we uh, statically mention the kind of parameters that we want to use for a specific machine learning model in this case it is logistic regression so for this logistic regression we want to pass the solver has lbfgs and max iteration is 1000 and then multiple class as auto and random state is 8888 it is basically refers to what if you want to reproduce the same experiment on this specific data set then you can pass this parameter okay so these are the par uh, params for the specific model which is logistic regression and then we create our lr object which is logistic regression object 
once this is done okay you fit this model on your training test uh, train data training data okay once that fitting is done then you try to predict it and get calculate the accuracy score by comparing y test with y print okay this will give you the accuracy score now this is a general uh, machine learning model how you train and try to predict okay there is nothing much here so when it comes to ml flow so this is where the key part starts as i mentioned earlier so let me increase the size yeah so let me close this one or push it down so we have ml flow dot start run and we this is the with context manager within this context you are trying to take this experiment which is logistic regression and you want to try to capture it okay so what we do is first ml flow dot log params okay and we pass the parameters which we mentioned here okay so this is how we want to uh, log the parameters and next is metrics which is the accuracy and you are mentioning how it should be the what is the key of that specific metric accuracy and as i mentioned signature is nothing but your how the input should be and how the output should be you want to know that when you are registering your model to uh, ml flow the ml flow should know what the model should expect as input what is the kind of output it should generate because it will try to verify or validate those inputs and outputs while you are trying to do inference okay so that's why this is important now once signature is done then you can pass in the model info which is log model okay here we have ml flow dot sk learn dot log model this is a, a sk learn uh, module from where we are taking sk learn okay so that's why we can directly sk learn dot log model and then you pass in logistic regression the name of the while you are registering it you are giving the name iris model and the signature is the kind of input and output it is expected to handle and the input sample is we are giving x train and registered model name is tracking quick start okay so this is with respect to the model information and what is expected as input what is expected as the output what is the name of the experiment and uh, what is the sample input and uh, who you want to register the model okay so all these things are mentioned here and next what we do is we want to tag our logged model okay so you just want to mention what is this uh, model is all about okay so we just pass that information here so once this is done okay you can directly run this uh, file okay and this will log the model okay you don't have to do anything else this is for the second part okay and this is not required for now but when you want to uh, see once you have what logged the model it's not for just uh, it won't be just storing there and the sitting idle okay what we want to do is we want to do inference so in such case what we have to do is we just have to uncomment this piece of code okay and we have to use ml flow dot py function load model and we can pass in the model info dot model uri so this will when you log the model okay it will try to create a model uri you can use that model uri and load the model and since this model info refers to this one okay it will able to fetch the corresponding model uri okay so once you have loaded the model then you can use the uh, ml flow registered model and predict on x test and you can also fetch the feature names using this specific function which is like dot feature names and what we do here is we try to just uh, compare the results right once you predict okay and what is the actual class and predicted class and we are just looking at the top 3 results okay this is not important just for uh, just validating the results this is so let me just take this now let me show you also this uh, ml flow server that we have executed and which is here i have local host 5000 okay so this is what ml flow ui looks like okay and if you see they have already executed it once and if you see here there are like 6 days back i have executed and uh, this was the uh, run name that got generated and this is the models iris underscore model and it took around 2.7 and 18.7 seconds if you want me to go inside i'll see uh, when it got created at by whom it was created and what was the source and uh, all the different uh, 
metrics and parameters you can see here the accuracy was one and what was the parameter that we used for running this experiment and this is the log to model okay so if you want to go to artifacts you will see the model and everything now what i'll do is uh, let me run it again so i'll just go here uh, i think i have to switch to this one and the python 3 and experiment tracking and I think there might be a scenario where the since the oh, name is same, the custom, I guess this is the MLflow a quick start, right? I think this is the name is same. I am think we might need to change that. So let us wait for a couple of seconds here. So let me show you this one. Okay. So if you see here, uh, successfully registered the model tracking quick start okay and then uh, waiting up to 300 seconds for model version to finish and this is model tracking quick start version 1 created version 1 of model view the experiments so it got created okay let me so go here okay if you see here 12 seconds back popular panda 537 573 this got executed and again if you see all the information as i talked about okay all registered model accuracy parameters and let me quick click here okay this is the iris model artifact is this one and i wanted to show something uh ml model here not this one so this is the sample json input sample json what is the okay keep tracks of what are the what different packages that you will need for running this experiment and uh, then if you just understand this right these are kind of an environment setup that is happening in the back end okay in ml flow okay it expecting certain kind of python and then what are the tools that are required for running the ml model okay it is keeping track of everything and tries to create an environment such that when you're trying to do an inference this environment is set up and the model is loaded and you are able to do the inference okay so it represents all those let me show some things here where it will show what are the kind of input it is expecting uh, so let me go back here maybe if i go here maybe we'll see it oh uh, traces not the traces artifacts ml model so yeah if you see here this is the one right so if you see the signature okay it is expecting tensor okay maybe i have to increase the size yeah so if you see here under the signature we see uh, inputs and outputs okay and the shape is there are four columns it is taking in and there will be one column that is taking it out as output okay which is your target and then here your saved sample input what are the json files and it is an nd array which is numpy array and the format in which it is stored it is model.pickle okay you can use this one to unserialize that particular model or load the model okay and uh, so yeah it basically what uh, understands everything about your experiment so if i can see any other information here right you have evaluation traces we have here i think we have a yeah, good amount of information when it comes to this specific model so yeah if you see here again uh, under models as i talked about there are three things right one is experiments models and there is runs experiments is nothing but a group of runs okay and currently we are looking at the models so if you see here again okay uh, this model was executed registered at this time it was modified at this time what was the name of that run okay and uh, here you will see the input and output so if you see here again uh, there are four columns taken in as features and what you are expecting is an output of one column okay then uh, yeah basically this is what it is the thing is uh, in the last few years uh, the things have changed with respect to MLflow in terms of the kind of services it provides for tracking prompts, okay, how to track uh, LLM evaluation, how it has to be done, okay, and uh, so there are various things that got added to what MLflow tool, okay, we'll be understanding those in the later uh, videos, but right now this is how you want to do experiment tracking in MLflow. So yeah, with that I'll be concluding this video. Uh, 
so if you have any questions please uh, drop a comment on the video and i'll try to clarify as much as possible